Did COVID-19 throw away your plans for this whole year now? You can't like really celebrate with anybody and now you're by yourself and um, honestly, you can't really want to go, you can't really go outside because you're dealing with some anxiety and nervousness because you don't know who's going to be next on the COVID-19 ICU bed. Thank you for coming to this post. This post is me for you. But all jokes aside, here's how you're going to buy gifts and give them this holiday season when you cannot visit your families during the holidays. So buying. It's going to be incredibly easy if you had an Amazon account since 2016, if you bought stuff for retail therapy when you're going to really odd depressive episodes. The advancement of online shopping has really been a lot of easier, been a lot less stressful. You can probably do it while you're on the toilet. Online shopping, you can find it almost everywhere. So the pros to buying online is that you're not waiting in long lines. Why would you want to wait in long lines for like 30 minutes to Bath and Body Works, six feet apart, and you know, someone's gonna cough in your direction. People are disgusting. Second pro is that <clears throat> you can support local and small businesses. Um, sometimes you may not live next to a small, small local business because you know, bigger conglomerates, companies, corporations have eaten it up. So this way you can support local businesses, on, small businesses online through Instagram, through Google, through Facebook, etc. And last but not least is that you can track it. You know, if you're scared of like, oh, so I don't know if they're gonna get it. I don't know if they're gonna get it. You can set up texts, you can set up email not notifications for your loved ones to receive it. The cons of it is that you may be technology challenged but the fix to that is that someone in a house won't be. So there's no cons. When it comes to giving, it's not as simple as buying. It's, but on the other hand, you have a very, you have a lot more different options when it comes to giving. So your first option when it comes to giving is like take out those old stamps. There's probably stamps in your junk drawer that you haven't used, but they're still valid. And you can go ahead and use that and support your neglected United States Postal Service. So you're helping out and giving in two ways. You're giving to your relatives and you're giving um, help to someone who needs their job at USPS. Option two is that you can hold FaceTime Zoom unwrapping parties. You will, give, will know that you're going to be smiling because the person that's FaceTiming you has given you a gift. Smiles are contagious over Zoom. They transcend long distances. So don't think that FaceTime is incredibly boring. The third option is drive-by drop-off parties. If you live close nearby your, um, your, your loved ones, you can drop off your gift. You know, take out that Honda Civic and you can be your own real Santa. And you can say, Santa does not drive a sleigh, Santa drives a Tesla. So I hope these tips are incredibly helful for you for this holiday season. Mali Gayon Pascal, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and stay safe. Bye!